And then, Checkers and Snoozer are going to the beach. They arrive. And then they go into the water. Yahoo! I love swimming. Snoozer swims to the bottom of the sea and says hello to the fishies. Hello, fishies. I am Snoozer. Hey, where are you guys going? Oh, never mind. Shakers and Snoozer are going to play volleyball. But then, Snoozer's arch nemesis, Dr. Devious and Deceiver, show up and they want to take over the beach. <laughs> I'm going to take over the beach. No way. We were here first. I have an idea. How about we play volleyball to decide who has to leave? Eh, fine. Deal. What should we play to? One. Just one? Yes. Please, do you have any idea how long this is going to take to animate already? Okay. Game to one, win by two. Ready, set, go. Snoozer serves the ball. Deceiver returns. Then Checkers hits up to Snoozer, and Snoozer spikes it. Victory. Checkers, you have to win by two. That's volleyball etiquette. What? Game point. Snoozer passes it to Deceiver, and Deceiver serves it. Snoozer returns. Then everything becomes slow motion, and Dr. Devious uses his head to hit the ball back. Checkers gets very tired, and he sits down to rest. Oh, well, that's just lovely. Don't worry, Checkers. Snoozer's there to do a supersonic spinning Snoozer return, and Snoozer spikes it right back. And Checkers and Snoozer win! And Dr. Devious cries. The end. Well, that was something, Snoozer. I want to go to the beach! What? Yeah, I'm playing a game all about the beach, and now I'm thinking, I want to go to the beach! And hey, maybe we can learn about who invented beaches and stuff on the way! Hold on, Snoozer, you're not just talking about a road trip. You're talking about a... Reading road trip! You know I like to say the line, Snoozer. What line? Reading Road Trip! Oh, you... Seatbelts. Check. Backpack? Check, check. Recording. Let me make sure. Recording. Got it. Okay, snoozer. Sending in three, two, one. Pilot activated. Yes, we are. Off to the beach. Sand, sand castles, water, and a lot more stuff. Hey, what beach are we going to? Excellent question, Snoozer. Well, Fuzzleland beaches are pretty unique, so we're going to go to a beach near an ocean. Woohoo! Does that mean we get to go through the rainbow? Absolutely, Snoozer. Look, take a look at this. We are headed for Rainbow Way. Once we cross through, it will take us right to our destination, the beach. Along the way, Mrs. Hamilton is going to be showing you how to make a beach craft from her treehouse. Ooh, Mrs. Hamilton helping me make a beach craft? I wonder what it will be. Probably something beachy. I'm next to certain that beachy isn't a word, Snoozer. Inaccurate beachy relating to suggestive of or appropriate for a beach or a vacation spent at the beach. Guess I stand corrected. Inaccurate. You are sitting. Why do I put myself through this? Oh, books. Oh, 
All right, let's check out a few. What kind of books are they? Here you go, snoozer. Noah's Seal by Lane Marlowe. And Saving American Beach by Heidi King. That is exactly what we need, snoozer. Ready for a closer look? Yes! All right, entering in three, two, one. Wowie! I'm at the beach in illustrated fashion. This is Noah's Seal, a book about a little boy named Noah who is waiting for his mother to finish fixing a boat. While waiting, Noah makes a seal out of sand. A real one. Just a seal out of sand using his imagination. Noah makes an imaginary friend out of the seal and the two spend the day together. I met a real seal one time. This one is a cutie pie. Hello seal, I'm Snoozer. But then a storm comes and washes everything away. What happens to the seal? Is it lost forever? Well, is it? We'll read it later to find out. This is a book about imagination. Perfect for you, Snoozer. Yes, I love imagining things. I have tons of imaginary friends, but none of them are seals. I need more seal friends. Anyway, I have to read this story all the way through later. What's next? Saving American Beach. It's a story about a real person. This is a biography that tells the story of Mawini Bench. It sounds very informational. Yes, but it also talks about the hardship that Mavine faced starting when she was a young child. Due to her skin color, Mavine was not allowed to eat at most restaurants, and she had to stay away from other white children at the beach, separated by a rope. Her grandfather bought the beach and made it open to everyone. Oh, what a happy ending. Not over, Snoozer. Mavine went off to become an opera singer, and when she returned home to the beach, she had become its caretaker. But then she begins another battle as builders plan to build condos on the sacred beach. It is a very inspirational story with beautiful illustrations, and Heidi King does a marvelous job of telling Mavine's story from the beginning of her life to the end and the legacy she left behind. Who knew the beach could be so inspirational? A beach is just a place. It's the people, or robot vacuums, that create the stories that inspire. Let's go. Well, we looked at two beach books. What to do now? Well, I believe... Yes, yes, it is time for us to do our craft. Mrs. Hamilton's class craft? That's right. Let's go, snoozer. to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer. Come and see me! Anyway, back to the show. Yes. See you in a bit. Ah! Ah! Oof. There you are, Snoozer. Boy, you look bright and happy like the sun today. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hamilton. I love the sun. That's so good, because you know what? We're going to be making a sun today. It's going to kind of look, I don't know if you can see the picture, but like this. But you're going to need these two sheets. Do you think you'd like to do that? Yes, I would, 100%. Me too. All right, well, let's get cutting, and then we'll put it all together. Sounds good. All right, I think I'm just about set here. This is going to be a very bright sun. All right. 
right, so I think it's best if fold this paper go this way. All right, if we kind of set it up how it's gonna look, then we have an idea of how to space the rays of the sun. Touches, snoozer. Well, I had a great time making a song with you, and I guess I'll see you next time you pop in, okay? Yesy! Goodbye! Bye, snoozer. And then I gave the sun sunglasses. Mrs. Hamilton said I did a really good job. That is quality work, snoozer. Thank you! Checkers! When are we getting to the rainbow? Right now. Huh? We're here! Ready to go in? Ready! Going through the rainbow. Okay. Looks like we're here. The beach! The beach! That's right, Snoozer. Everything we need is in the back. So let's get it all together, and let's get beaching. No, not like that. How? Beaching is the process in which a ship or boat is laid ashore or grounded deliberately in shallow water. Yes, yes, of course. All right, let's just go. Well, Snoozer? We've arrived at the beach. I will say though, I brought some sports and games and I think it might be better if we have a few more people. What do you think? I agree. Let's bring on Dr. Dan and Zot. Hi, Dr. Dan. Hey, Snoozer. Hey, Checkers. Hey. Why have you summoned me? Well, Zot, we wanted to play some games and we thought you guys might be great. Do you guys want to play with us? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Well, Snoozer, it is a beautiful day here at the beach. The sun is shining, we've got the waves coming in, and all your toys are ready to go. Are you ready to start playing? Yes, I am. It's time for a wonderful day at the beach. Can Jimin! We win! Good job, Socks! Just missed. Good try. My turn. Slot! We win again! Oh! Do! Ugh! Forty-five, set, hut! One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Go on! Ready! 
cool. Zot the Robot at your service. Today's book recommendations are Beach Day by Karen Russo, Magic Beach by Allison Lester, Over the Ocean by Taro Gomi, To the Beach by Linda Ashman, Saving American Beach by Heidi King, Noah's Seal by Lane Marlowe. That is all for now. Goodbye. All right, Snoozer, let's get that memory card out. Well, Zut, did you have fun at the beach? I am incapable of enjoyment of any kind. I served my purpose today. Nothing more. Okay. All right, well, the memory card has been sent off to the Fuzzleland School. We had a good time today learning all about the beach, and I hope everyone at the Fuzzleland School has fun learning, too. And soon we'll be back for more. Until next time.